Psalm 91, believe you me and trust in the name of the Lord that no matter how it rages, Jesus will see you through. So let's pray. Join me in declaring God's spiritual shelter over you as we pray in the name that is above every your name, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father, I thank you because of your word is yea and amen. I thank you because you are always there for us. You said in your word that when we call upon you, you will hear us and answer us and show us great and mighty things that we do not know of. And so, Lord, we stand on the promises that are in Psalm 91, declaring that whatever fear that wants to overshadow us is dissipated and our trust is blossoming even as we believe you that you are with us. We acknowledge your sovereignty over all aspects of our existence. We declare that you remain the commander of the angelic forces and you are orchestrating protection in every facet of our journey. Father God, in the name of Jesus, just as Daniel found sanctuary in the lion's den, as you stopped the mouth of the enemy by allowing you, God Almighty, to be the lion of the tribe of Judah, we know that even as we encounter experiences that are similar, you as the lion of the tribe of Judah, you are there protecting us. We take this moment to thank you for your unwavering provision that is always there for us, even in the times of lack, scarcity, like you gave Isaac. In the time of famine, Lord God, we see and we recognize that your dominion as the Jehovah Jireh, you are giving unto us all that we ask of. Lord, we come asking for anything that would have gone short of your calling that would prevent this answers to the prayers that we're delivering to you. The Lord, by the blood of the Lamb, that you cleanse us of them in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord God Almighty, that as we lift up everyone under the shadow, under the sound of my voice, asking for your protection and deliverance in their spiritual battle that they're facing right now. And I pray that your arm will be with them and strengthen them. We ask for those that are asking for wisdom, for the ways to go out of this problem and discernment to understand the crux of the problem. I ask the God Almighty, you firm them, you give them grace to understand and to be able to dismantle and entangle that confusion in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, because you're surrounding them with your heavenly host and you're guiding them with your angels. You're upholding them with your hands of righteousness so that they will not grow weary or lose heart even in the midst of the confusion. Father, we thank you because your promises that say whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I declare that God, these ones, they dwell and you remain their refuge and fortress. Lord, that we continually trust in you and you alone, Lord God Almighty, and not anyone else. Your wings provide a covering that no evil will breach. And in the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that no weapon formed against them that will prosper. No peril, no calamity, no wasting, no destruction will touch them in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit divine, I thank you because you are equipping them from head to toe with the full armor as they understand the revelation of putting on the whole armor of God. Thank you because you're strengthening them to will the scripture just like Jesus did by countering Satan when he tempted him. Father, we are the reflection of Christ on earth and so we counter by the word of, the, of our testimony declaring the Lord every plan of the devil to cause confusion on our promises that we have held over the years concerning you is counted in the name of Jesus. We destroy every doubt and confusion. Thanking you, Lord God Almighty, for sharpening our spiritual senses to discern every deceit. We thank you because our eyes are seeing beyond the normal. Our eyes of understanding are being enlightened as your angel armies, Lord God, are ready to fight for us in the name of Jesus. We thank you because, Lord God, you are establishing an impenetrable firewall and barriers that secure the areas of every one of us 
and the enemy would not have any plan and every strength to come through them father we thank you because you are blinding every eye that is monitoring and projecting psychic attacks against your people by the fathers in the name of jesus thank you because angels are counteracting every of their efforts in the name of jesus we bless your name lord god because we thank you because you have given us greater revelation where generational roots have created vulnerabilities that the enemy is taking advantage of thank you because lord god no longer are we allowing cracks for repetitive sins or curse agreements that will pour out your mercy away from us thank you lord god almighty because we know that every channel of our spirit is opening up only to your word in the mighty name of jesus we bless your name because you have done for us much more than we could even ask or think because we know you remain our sure foundation and we will not be moved cast your cares upon the lord for he cares deeply for you our good shepherd stands ready to lift you up and carry you through raging rivers his grace will never fail Let's enter God's presence now in prayer. As we lift up our struggles up to our compassionate Father, He promises strength to help us and hold us upright. We need not fear what looms ahead, for the battle belongs to Him. If He is for us, who can be against us? Let us pray. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that we come to you. Almighty God, our refuge and strength we enter the sacred moment with confidence recognizing your unwavering power and boundless protection you are our fortress a present help in times of trouble and in your shelter we find solace as we meditate on the words of psalm 46 our hearts resonate with the truth that even when the earth quakes and mountains crumble your steadfast presence remains unshaken. Heavenly Father, I call upon you with names that echo your divine attributes. El Shaddai, the Almighty, Jehovah Nisi, our banner of victory. In the quiet of this prayer, we bask in your unyielding sovereignty and take refuge beneath the shadow of your wings. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you forgive us for moments when we doubt it and allow doubt to creep into us, overshadowing your promises. Grant us the confidence to face life storms, knowing that in you we are more than conquerors. May our trust in your power inspire unwavering faith and lead us to declare with conviction, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. In this assurance, we stand firm anchored in the confidence that nothing can separate us from your love. Heavenly Father, I come before you lifting up those listening to this prayer and I trust that whatever tough time, turmoil and uncertainty that shake their confidence and fill them with fear, you are with them. Today I pray that you infuse their spirit with a powerful encouragement of Psalm 46 that assures us that you are our ever-present help in times of trouble. Lord, you are our refuge and strength and ever-present help in distress. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth gives way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with its surging, give your children the strength to stay steadfast on your love. I reflect today, Matthew 8, 23-27, when Jesus and his disciples got into a boat and suddenly a furious storm came up with waves sweeping over the boat but jesus was sleeping soundly until his disciples woke him up crying lord save us we're going to drown jesus simply replied you of little faith why are you so afraid then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves and all was completely calm again lord like the disciples facing storms that threatened to overwhelm them as they followed you we call upon you jesus your children feel 
pounded by raging winds and rising waters, fearful of sinking beneath life's pressures that seem beyond control. We ask that you renew their confidence through Christ's presence in their vessel, hearing his voice gently saying, Peace but still, over the howling gales. Father, we ask that you remind them that you have power over every force of nature, calamity, illness or need, so they can trust you even when it feels like there's sheep make up size. As the psalmist exclaims, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the Holy Spirit where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. O oh God, let your living water flow through your children's soul. Secure their identity in you so they will not be shaken in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that in the midst of whatever spiritual earthquakes, societal eruptions, family floods or health hurricanes that may batter them, you will anchor their mind on your unfailing presence, holding them steady through it all. Lord, I claim the promise of Isaiah 41.10 for those struggling today. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Thus says the Lord. And Lord, we ask that you remind them that they can be still and know that you are God as they see striving under their own power and lean into your embrace. May they be renewed by intimacy with you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I proclaim the encouragement of Psalm 112 over the lives of your children today. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast trusting in the Lord. O oh Lord, I ask that you will build their trust muzzle through each wave of life storms that they may withstand flooding without wavering. Help them rest like the disciples did even amidst raging winds, sometimes sleeping in your sovereignty, but always safe in your salvation. I declare Psalm 46. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. God lifts his voice and the earth melts. It says, but still and know that I am God and Father above every and any alarm blaring through news headlines or social media feeds. Help your children hear your gentle whisper. I ask that as you quiet the cacophony of chaos around and the anxiety within, speak peace but still to your children's soul until they know the blessed relief that they will experience from believing in you in the name of Jesus. Almighty Father, you have proven your power and protection for your people throughout history. Daniel survived the lion's den unharmed. The Hebrew boys emerged from the furnace without even smelling like smoke. And your angels shut the mouths of lions around and Daniel in the pit. Like you did for them, protect your children that are struggling by removing them from the storms they face as they call upon you, Jesus. Teach them to trust you in the midst of the storm. Show them that if they keep their eyes on you, they can walk even on water through life's battering rains. I pray your children grasp this promise from Isaiah 43 today. Fear not for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. For I am the Lord your God. As they pass through deep waters in their health, family, job or relationships, Carry them safely in your loving arms so that they do not sink in despair, swirling tides. Lord, the more the nations and rulers of the day rage and tumble stairs, remind your children that your kingdom cannot be shaken. All the schemes of humanity cannot thwart your plans nor block the light of Christ from penetrating the deepest darkness in our world and in their personal night. You reign through it all. Speak that truth resoundingly within until their confidence in your loving power drowns out any voices of anxiety, depression or uncertainty clamoring in their minds. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that as it is written in Psalm 46, assure your children that you are their fortress, shield and strength. As you fight for them, Lord, give them grace to be still. After this season of sickness, grief, loss or hardship passes, may they proclaim with the psalmist, He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bows and shatters the spears. He burns the shields with fire. You alone can bring peace and healing to every broken place. Father, we thank you because you are reminding them 
that if they dwell in your shelter, no evil shall befall them. And as they trust and obey, find them refuge under your wings, no plague will come near their home. I thank you because as they lift their eyes beyond the weapons forming against them, to see your angels, army surrounding and chariots of fire protecting them, they will stand firm in your word. Lord, I thank you as we close this prayer asking that despite what raging storms, societal strife or personal heartache your children face, they know that the battle belongs to you. Thank you for renewing the strength and encouraging them to trust you through it all so that one day they will look back on valleys that felt overwhelming and proclaim redemption story with joy by your great power working through those trials. Thank you because their faith in your triumph has grown and I know that they will proclaim with boldness and confidence that you are their God and an ever-present one who never leaves nor forsakes them. Thank you, almighty God. We know you have perfected it. You, Jesus, as the Prince of Peace, for it is in Jesus' name that we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come before you, Almighty Father, Jehovah Jireh. I come before your throne of grace today and ask him for grace to intercede on behalf of your child in Christ who feels under intense spiritual attack from the forces of evil. These people feel surrounded by adversaries without cause, enemies seeking their downfall. And so, Lord, like David crying out in Psalm 35, they need you to take up a shield and spare and say to their soul, I am your salvation. David's struggles reminds us of Job's immense suffering at the hands of Satan, all that he feared coming to pass in one excruciating test of faith. Though Job lost everything and endured terrible illness and false accusations from friends, still he refused to curse the Lord's name. Job 1 verse 20 to 22 explained further. In his darkest valley, shattered by death's grief and the grave's despair, still Job trusted in God. Again and again he demonstrated righteousness in calamities refined in fire, crying, Though you slay me, still will I hope in you. I pray you on the siege that the Lord will fight against every false and accusing voice just the same in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will teach you as Job proclaimed, I know that my Redeemer lives, as Christ hung suffering shamefully on the cross under jeers from crowds and rulers alike, he demonstrated greatest obedience under fire, perfectly righteous yet crushed for the sins of all mankind. Still Jesus prayed over his persecutors in Luke 23, 34 saying, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. I pray that God will transform your situation so that you can trust him more through your struggle, not hardened by injustice. The will imbibe in you the spirit to forgive your enemies that libelous by the examples of Job, David and Christ Jesus, our ultimate example. I proclaim his promise in Psalm 35 over you and your life today in the name of Jesus. And I say, Lord, contend with those who contend with your child fight against those who fight against your child take up shield and armor arise and come to their aid brandish spear and javelin against those who pursue them say to them i am your salvation the lord god will hear your cry for help and bring justice against those attacking you without cause in the name of jesus he will harking his judgment and set his righteous cause against the aim to ruin and devour without basis he will put to shame those who rejoice when you stumble, may their own schemes prove their downfall in the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord said, no weapon formed against you and your loved ones shall prosper in Jesus' name. The Lord will surround you by his angel armies hovering overhead. Where there is disturbance in every area of your life, seeking to wreak havoc on you and your loved ones, he will dispatch his heavenly armies to stand God at your house day and night. He will raise up allies and spiritual mentors to stand God. And I pray that the Lord will give you the spirit 
of discernment when to take dominion in Jesus' authority to calm the storm and when to be still waiting on him to fight for you. He will hearken to you and also hearken to angel armies awaiting battle commands to subdue your unseen enemies. May you claim the helmet of salvation to guard your thoughts and minds in Christ Jesus. You will walk by faith and not fear to resist oppression through righteousness. When anxiety rises, take every thought captive to obey you. I uproot all doubt tormenting you when you cannot trace your hand and I silence all lies screaming. You are forsaken in the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare that the Lord will turn your wailing into dancing in the mighty name of Jesus as I also decree the praise that scatters the darkness will fill you up in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will impart in you everlasting joy and gladness instead of sorrow. He will restore your childlike trust to call upon his name and be saved from all distress. May you rest safely under his wings that drive away all the devil's distress and schemes in the name of Jesus. As provided in Colossians 2 verses 14 to 15, the law will burn up recorded accusations seeking to hold you hostage to pass since long surrendered at the cross. I cancel contracts with iniquity through the blood that speaks mercy, not judgment over your life in the name of Jesus. And I cast down vain imaginations and boastless threats that exalt themselves against the true knowledge of Christ in your life. Though a thousand fall by your side, the law will put to flight every arrow directed at you so you may testify of his triumph again and again. I pray that as you walk through the season under siege, God will anchor your mind on Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? He alone is the stronghold of your life. He will teach you to declare in faith for in the day of trouble. He will hide me under the cover of his tent and set me high upon the rock. Though war break out against you, still will you trust in him. I claim victory over depression and anxiety through focus on God's goodness and sustaining grace over your life. And I pray that he imparts strength to your soul, so despair finds no toe hold. And I uproot all lies that torment your thoughts in the name of Jesus. The Lord would use every unjust attack to refine righteousness and renew perspective till your confidence remains not delivered from trials but through you by his sufficient grace. I pray that God will deliver you from the traps and snares set by the evil one and those used by darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. He will turn every weapon formed against you into opportunity to testify of his great faithfulness. I silence the voice of accuser and false counsel seeking to misguide you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will unveil true allies and speak truths to withstand evil fortex all oh, in Jesus' name. I decree that the Lord will raise up warriors on your behalf to stand guard day and night helping you. He will build hedges of Holy Spirit fire around all that concerns you that no plague may penetrate your home in the mighty name of Jesus. And by the authority bestowed upon me above, I establish God's angelic host to guard you night and day as you agree with me in the name of Jesus. He will give you revelation to command heavenly hosts to battle. And I awaken you to his power and presence ever before, behind and beside you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will grant you the grace to forgive every trespasser even persecutors and wound inflictors, that through righteousness you may dwell under his mercy and loving protection. He helps you walk blamelessly to receive his defense. He will cleanse you daily through the Holy Spirit's purifying fire and his word, which is truth. He will anchor your identity firmly in the Holy Ghost, so no labels or limiting threats bind them. And Lord, I proclaim God's faithfulness upon everyone under the sound of my voice as your shield and defender. He will never leave nor forsake you. As you wait upon him, he will renew your strength in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray Psalm 35 fully manifested in your life, vindication and justice against true enemies, while mercy triumphs through tears and trials. He will bring to light every enemy schemes at work behind the scenes so you may rise empowered by truth. Then. 
it will lead you to bless and not curse those used by darkness. Through it all, he will be your deepest refuge, trust and hope. This I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that makes demons tremble and mountains bow down. In the name of Jesus, as Psalm 100 exhorts, I enter your gates with thanksgiving because you alone are good, merciful and mighty to save. I praise your name from the everlasting to everlasting for your faithful covenant love endures for every generation who seeks your face. You listening to me today, I clothe you in resplendent armor of praise and gratitude as weapons against the assault you feel raging against your mind and circumstances. In the name of Jesus, as the word of God declares, we will be upheld as we exhort him. When we magnify his majesty through declaring who he is, evil loses its grip to terrify. As you focus on the goodness of God, instead of the enemy's threat, perspective shifts from panic to power in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray at this moment that the Holy Ghost awakens you to joy that energizes and unites, joy the scattered darkness releases freedom songs rising from within that silence the cruel taskmasters of depression and despair has given you. I declare that you will impart garments of praise in place of fainting hearts burdened beyond bearing in your life, for he came to set captives free to turn mourning into dancing again. And in the name of Jesus, the truth remains that gratitude and worship position our heart to receive fresh revelation and renewed strength. Just like the widow of Zarephath who offered up her last scraps of food to feed God's prophet Elijah, asking for nothing though facing starvation, through radical generosity springing from worship, our flour and oil jars were miraculously sustained throughout drought and famine. Like the Lord did for the widow of Zarephath, may he stir up faith in you to give thanks in advance for provisions on the way. And may he increase expectancy to see his hand shift circumstances as perspective lifts to the unseen in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that as you walk through the valley of shadows, anxiety and uncertainty lurking around, he, God, will anoint you and your household afresh in his lavish grace pour out from joyous wells, overflowing even amidst suffering. In Acts 16, 23, the beloved Apostle Paul rejoiced in prison chains with Silas until an earthquake shook open the jail cells. Out of the audacious 3 a.m. worship, arose opportunities for jailer salvation and citywide revival just like he did then. I pray for you that God releases you from the fetters that the enemy has held you captive in, in the mighty name of Jesus. The enemy seeks breath-stealing distractions when holy affection and focus lock solely on God. But I come against assignments of depressions, oppression, Deception and all weapons formed against your identity, family, finances, health and home this day. Through Christ, all curses aimed against you are reversed, rendered powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So by the power bestowed upon me from above, I clothe you in the garments of God's protection, proclaiming His grace rescue in generations long past and His present darkness. For God makes a way where there seems to be no way. I bring to mind Exodus story, God's mighty deliverance of the Israelites from slavery through ten plagues displaying his supremacy over false gods and arrogant rulers. Also at the Red Sea with Pharaoh's chariots approaching, worship broke open corridors of redemption. As Moses lifted songs of accent, waters parted for the Israelites to walk across miraculously. And like God did for the Israelites, I ask that in the name of Jesus, that he parts every Red Sea, hindering you from reaching your promised land. I want you to believe, my dear friend, that through eyes of faith instead of earthly vision, take heart knowing that the Psalms sing of one enthroned forever who has inclined his ears towards the cry of the righteous. 
Let his banner of love and presence wave over you. As you call upon his name, taking every thought captive through profound gratitude that no trial can thwart his purpose in your life. The testing of your faith produces perseverance to finish the race. You are his workmanship unto glory. The teacher remains by your side, saying gently, in darkest night, peace must steal. Soon you will see his wondrous grace transforming weeping into good news. Testimony is saving many lives through your compassion learned in lonely wilderness. Just watch. So sing with the songs of Korah in Psalm 84. How lovely are your dwelling places, O Lord. A day spent closer to your heartbeats flying in worldly kingdoms. Blessed are those strengthened along pilgrim roads towards your temple gate longing to dwell in places with you. Even in this back of valley of weeping, your rain and spring soaked part ground till pools of joy overflow, again reflecting your face. Glory upon glory wells up within heart, yearning for home, whispering finishing songs. Be still, my soul, the Lord is on thy side. Worship lifts burdens to bear more blessings. Under that same ordinance, I declare that the Lord God would navigate you through storms, anchoring your souls onto an eternal anchor of awe in his glory, reflected in unexpected and holy beauty all around. May the Lord open your eyes to see glimpses of eternity echoing through saints, enduring great trials, yet singing of victory already near. Let his living water flow freely to nourish and electrify until they can leave and bar his kingdom come despite piercing arrows seeking to destroy you. So I proclaim Psalm 100 loudly unto every demonic attack, trying to sink you down. Clap your hands, all you nations, burst forth with singing joyfully to God. Serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. He made us and we are his. I thank the Lord for his faithful and unfailing love through every generation's stories in his book. We are his people, sheep of his pasture. So enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praises, bless his name. His mercies never end, his steadfast love spans eternities. And so I declare Jesus the same yesterday today and forevermore. I decree stillness into your groans through this generation's chaos and confusion. May the Lord assure you that these troubles produce perseverance to endure, for joy comes in the morning. He will strengthen you to fix your eyes not on seen things, but on unseen things in the name of Jesus. So I prophesy life and joy into your life. My friend, I break you free of ghostly chains that keep you hostage from kingdoms of freedom, renewal and revelation waiting to excel through availability often humbly and honestly back to God. May all mortal shackles of time lose hold over your life in the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord for answered prayers. Thank you because we know that your children are victorious even in the midst of life's trials and tribulations we will continue to exalt your name lord so we say praise be unto you god almighty let everything that has breath praise the name of the lord in jesus mighty name we pray